just went, you just came back from Montreal. I did. Now, we did a story, the big story, a big story, was there and night. You two. Oh, we actually came in uh, on a flight, on, on the flight together. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, we rode, um, we rode the bus together, like from the airport to, uh, <laughs> to the <great>. hotel. <laughs> And I didn't know Darren. And so him and his um, um, cousin, who was his assistant, and um, his manager, who's I believe he's out of New York. Very nice people, though. We had a great time in the van. Um, he was just telling me um, he was one of uh, Variety's top 10 picks. I was like, whoa, I'd never heard of him. And he was like, well, I'm an internet guy. And, you know, I was like, so he's like, I've been doing comedy maybe two or three years kind of thing. And I'm like, and you got Variety? I was like, that's pretty big, you know? And he was like, I've been selling out arenas. I sold out the Cobb Center and this, this, and a third. And I, you know, was googling I was like oh okay he's got you know these followers or whatever whatever and he was telling me he was gonna do the show we kind of talked a little bit about so this internet is before this before all of this we, we just got off the plane we were riding to the hotel together and so <laughs> and so we followed each other on the gram and um, I was like I'll link up with you another time you know what I mean or whatever to see how you're doing because he was like he was gonna perform I'm like wow you're gonna perform and you know, I was just asking him, kind of like with only two or three years doing comedy, I said, you seem pretty comedic just meeting you, but I have no idea what your set is like. He's like, oh no, I'll be doing great, and you know, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. And then I got word back that things weren't so great. And um, unfortunately, I didn't speak with him again to find out, or his manager, or anybody. But like, as we were, um, it was probably that Sunday night, as we were, was it the last night I was going to leave? I just remember, you know, you hear the murmuring around about somebody saying some racist stuff. And he got booed. And nobody gets booed at just for laughs. In Canada, In Canada, they don't boo. And so I was like, I, didn't, I don't know what he said, but... It, it was upsetting. He was uh, criticizing the comedian's approach to sexism, you know, like... Well, for all of time, that's what comedians have done. Spoke on issues. We're the ones that kind of soften the blow to be able to communicate those kind of uh, thoughts and stuff. Just be funny. It just better be funny, be funny. man. Now this well, Roseanne got caught up. She did. And she tried to say it was a joke. Yeah, I think it was. A real bad one. My thing with it, with it is... Everything isn't for social media, and I think that's where a lot of people fall flat on their face. Some stuff is at the dinner table where you laughing with your cousins and your uncles and your nephews, and we chipper it up, and then somebody say, you know she black, right? And you're like, oh, I didn't know she was black. I just thought she looked like the chick from the planet of the day. You know what I mean? But see, then your family can save you. But when you start just putting everything out on social media, which, to my knowledge, that particular comment wasn't the wasn't the that's the reason that they use but it was like you've been saying so many things that this is kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back kind of moment and that may be with the Darren fellow as well it's like you can say so much stuff and now this last little precious moment you just said it's just I can't do no what more what do we do with like, let's put them together oh god what do we do do they do they come are they given second chances are they I don't know man put on a different island and <laughs> I mean, I'm always for second chances because even if you got um, uh, tried and um, convicted, you go to jail, you pay a fine. There is redemption. Oh, if I ain't gonna lie to you, that's a tough question. But um, the same as someone did something to me, attacked me, and they be like, you still harp on that. And it's like, look, if you'd have been convicted, he'd have went to jail, paid a fine, and it would be over. And we'd have to see, you know what I mean? You, you just gotta keep moving. So, no, I don't really believe that there should be a uh, career death for anyone, um, I don't, damn, then I thought about Matt Lauer just came in my head. <laughs> I don't want, I definitely don't really want to see his face doing the news anymore, but you've also garnered, of my, I mean, but he had a lot of stuff that, I think piling up. It's a pile up, it's a pile up.